everyone, welcome to the first episode of MRC Garage. This is a series where I'll sit down at my workbench and I'll unbox new cars that I get. I'll build them, modify them, I'll review new products, and I'll even give you some special tech tips that'll help you go faster at the track. Let's jump into today's episode. So, today I'm going to be starting a new winter project. This is something that's been piquing my interest over the last couple months in this very up and coming division of the hobby. No prep drag racing. So this is the associated DR10 kit based off the famous SC10 platform. So today I'm going to be opening this box up and we're going to be going over what the differences are between it and the SC10 and what makes this a race ready street eliminator chassis. So let's get you guys over behind me and we'll get this box opened up. All right, there we go. You guys got a little bit of a better view of the, the box here now. So before we open this up, Let's just take a look on the outside of the box, uh, see what it says, some of the features, so we can compare it to the SC10. So on the side here is all the main features of the car. So we have rear anti-roll bars, which is not included with the SC10, but very important for the drag racing, as it keeps the car level on takeoff, so you don't get any torque steer kind of effects. Um, very important. Uh, we got wheelie bar. Obviously, that's important for drag racing because you're going to be pulling some sick wheelies. Uh, we got the rugged steel turnbuckles and uh, ball cups. You'll find these most commonly on like a, a race kit like a B6 or a B74 kind of thing. Uh, very tough, nice, no slop. It's nice to have them on this kit. Um, it comes with some wheels, so I believe these are actually the J Concept StarTech wheels. Um, not 100% sure on that, but I think they are, um, which is nice because I'm going to be buying J Concept stuff for this car anyways, so if those are the J Concepts rims, then I won't have to buy those. Uh, aluminum 12mm big bore shocks, that's standard with uh, SC10, but I think these are shorter for drag racing. Water resistant box. I don't think I'm going to be driving this thing in any water. It's a drag car, not a mud boss. Uh, CVA drive shafts. Now those those are very nice. So uh, the regular SC10 does not come with these. The regular SC10 just comes with a standard dog bone to axle style, which uh, has a problem of popping out every now and then. They're pretty weak. The um, the axles will sometimes snap off and they wear really quick. So having the, the CVAs will be really nice. And then low center of gravity, composite chassis, standard. Um, it's got room in there. I think I could fit a four cell in here. Uh, I looked at the car uh, at the shop. They had a built one. I think you could fit a four cell in there very easily. Um, I'm not gonna be doing that for racing, of course, because for the street eliminator spec, it is two cell. But if I just want to have some fun, I have a Sidewinder 8 sitting in my slash there, so I could put that in this thing, run it on 4-cell, that would be kind of cool. Alright, so let's get this box open. So I have opened this box once just to take a quick peek inside, but I didn't open any bags or anything and I didn't look at too much stuff, so most of this will be new to me. So let's get this open here. Alright, and first view bags upon bags upon bags of parts what you'll see with any kit build um, so they got everything in one big bag here divided into separate bags looks like we got down here some decals the manual and some tuning options so I think uh, these are different size wheels for the wheelie bar and uh, different body posts for different style bodies and then the spring retainers for the shocks Got some standard tools, those will go in the drunk drawer. I got all my MIP stuff right here, don't need that. Um, I think that's about it there. Let's get this box out of the way here. So, big bag, let's cut this open. So here's the rims right off the bat, so we can take a look to see if these are actually the J-Concepts ones. I think they are. Uh, I 
don't see any markings on them for JC, but I don't know if the JC ones actually have that. They look like them though. Feels like J Concepts plastic. I'm pretty sure these are the J Concepts rims, which is awesome. Means I don't have to buy any. So, bag six. Looks like transmission parts, spur gears, idlers, bearings, motor mounts. Uh, oh, the axles are pre-built. Oh, I want to take a look at that. So yeah, these are axles. They're pre-built. Cool, so I just got to grease them. Nice. Those look like a fairly good quality axle too. Those will be nice and tough to be able to handle the power. Put them back in the bag there just so I don't lose them. Oh, it even comes with some axle grease. Nice. Um, I'll probably, I have my own grease I'll probably be putting on that, which is likely better, but that's cool that they, they give you the grease too. Um, body mounts, okay. Shocks, nice. Shocks are not built. You have to build the shocks. Come, comes with shock oil, nice. Uh, just 30 weight. Yeah, just 30 weight shock oil. That's AE, so I think that's actually more like 25 weight if you use low C. Uh, arms, bulkheads, uh, shock towers. Roll bars. There's the roll bar right there. That is a thick roll bar. That looks like a 3 millimeter roll bar. That That is... Uh, that's quite the equipment there. I don't think my car is going to be getting any roll, which is good. You want it to stay perfectly flat. More arms, front arms, front shock towers, um, hubs, bearings, more hubs, more bearings, steering rack it looks like, maybe. Differential, gear diff. Oh, metal gears. I, I was wondering about that inside the diff. Um, I'm pretty sure the original SC10 is just little plastic gears. I was wondering uh, how those plastic gears would be able to hold up to drag racing power, right? Um, but yeah, it's actually metal gears inside, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, the outside, the main gear is plastic. Uh, I imagine you can upgrade that if you strip it, but I, I don't think that will strip. I think that will be fine. Motor cover, spur gear cover, battery straps and side rails, and receiver box. Nice. We got bumpers and wheelie bar. Cool. Um, yeah, so there's the other wheels in there. So the ones wherever they were, they're different size. They're a bigger one, I guess. Uh, just a tuning option. Um, and turnbuckles. Yeah, so these are um, these are factory kit uh, racing ball studs, which is nice. Um, those are very tough and they don't wear out very quickly. They're very tight, no slop. And we got the chassis. So um, I haven't actually looked at an SC10 chassis in a while. I don't know how different this is to it. I can actually grab my SC10. It's right over there. We'll compare the chassis. So here's my SC10B, it's just got buggy body on it or whatever. It, they look the same. Yeah, they look uh, they look identical. So, uh, maybe, oh, well, it looks like it's a bit longer. Yeah, it's a little bit longer, maybe. No, just a bit of a different mounting style. They're slightly different, the shape, but it's no lower than the other one, I don't think. Um, and the tray is all all the same, all the electronics mounting and battery and everything, it's all the same. So it would have been nice to see a carbon fiber chassis. Um, I know they often don't race the aluminum chassis because they're heavy for drag racing, but it would have been nice to see a carbon fiber plate um, 
I know the, the Exotech makes uh, the Vader kit for low C buggies, and it's got a nice, um, I believe it's a two plate carbon fiber chassis. So maybe a future upgrade if uh, if some company makes makes a nice uh, DR10 carbon fiber chassis, it might be something to consider. But for now, this will be fine. It's nice and light, um, which is what you want for the drag racing. So yeah, there's everything out. Um, so everything looks pretty good. Uh, I've never actually built an associated kit before. Um, the only kits I've actually built are Yokomo kits. So this is gonna be new for me. Um, I guess we'll take a look at the manual and stuff here. So let's open this manual up. So on our first page, we got all our kit features. Um, starting into step one, which is building the steering rack. And we got an extra flap here. Oh, so we got a quick check chart. So you can take your screws and just hold them up to this. And you can check to make sure you're putting in the right screw, bearing, ball stud, washer, etc. Got our table of contents. So yeah, we start with the steering rack, go into front end hubs, arms, shock tower, rear end shock tower, arms, hubs, and then we're into the differential. Going into the transmission, so on, so on. So I'll be working through this over the next day or two, and I'll be recording every little bit of it. So if there's any little tech tips that you guys should know about, I will most definitely include that um, and I'll show you little secrets on easier ways to build things, um, ways to make things smoother and just have an overall good build. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this here kit. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Likely the next two videos or so uh, will be the actual build of this and then we'll have the finished product and we can start talking about things like tires, bodies electronics and any modifications we might do to get this thing ready for racing in the spring. But that's going to be it for now, so if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see the rest of this build, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.